what is going on guys and welcome to your 14th node.js or rather i should say express js tutorial and this tutorial will be writing off with a hello world program in express so let's take a look express is require express and then what we are gonna do next is i'm gonna say app is equal to express so what essentially happens is that this express would return you a function so you just need to get whatever this function contains and uh, if you just can take a look here this would create application would be returned and as you can see this is a function so this is returning us app and uh, that's basically what it's returning and this is yet again a function so this thing right here is again a function but create application is the main module exports which is in the express.js main file so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say app dot listen to and here it goes, goes the port number and let's just keep it to 1337 only and function this is the callback function again which would be fired when this listening is done or started basically so listening at port port 1337 so if I run this application in node script 14.js as you can see the node doesn't quit because it has to listen on this port and if I open my browser and would you please just stop jumping around Chrome localhost 1337 and uh, as you can see we get this message cannot get slash and obviously this is something done by node and not node by express because node did not have these fallback messages so you have to do everything from scratch in node so this is something which express is doing so if I write something like that as you can see it shows me something out here and um, if I change a code a little bit and add another thing app dot get slash now what happens with this is that now express would wait for the user to visit a URL like this or you can just write get hello there and then once that is the URL then you have this function require or requested sorry requested and response and this function would and one thing to note is that this request and response are the same variables which we made use of in tutorial number four so these two are same one and the same thing so you could do either do like this something like this but you don't need that now because express is already taking care of that so what you have to just do is response dot send and hello there from express and why not a space out there and if I take a look in the browser and go to what is the URL hello there hello there all right so we need to just restart the server write that just like that and open the browser hello there you can see that we got hello there from express 
and if I just inspect element a bit for you guys go to network tab and reload this page you can see we got this 304 not modified code and uh, we got this x powered by express which we can just remove if you wish to we got something like yeah so that's pretty much all we have got from express and if i go to some other url you can see this also sends us automatically 404 not found code so we don't need to do like much of the basic setup so express has already done that for us and it also says us a simple error message cannot get this and get is basically just this method right here which we are making use of so maybe in the post it would just say cannot post to this URL so that's how you write your hello world program with express and we'll be learning more about express in the coming tutorials so don't forget to subscribe and stick together and thank you for watching I'll see you real soon in the next one